What's up Thrashers and welcome back once again to the Thrash Maniac 99 YouTube channel and I am back with yet another album review as reviews are starting to dwindle down as the year's coming to a close and this time I'm talking about the latest offering from Defeated Sanity, Chronicles of Lunacy. Also came out on November 22nd, this time on Season of Mist Records and this is Defeated Sanity's debut on Season of Mist after being on Willow Tip for a while, but this is the band's seventh studio full-length overall, of course. This band is considered kind of legendary in the world of both brutal death metal and technical death metal. And uh, I've been a, kind of a minor fan of this band. I've only re-listened to like certain songs and a couple of albums. I actually really liked the last one, Sanguinary Imp Impetus, or Impetus, whatever you want to say. I listened to that album. That actually was in my top 10 for 2020, but then again, I didn't listen to a whole lot of stuff in 2020 that was new. But I was a fan of that album, so when I heard Defeated Sandy was back with a new offering, I'm like, let's see what they have up their sleeves this time. And I will say, I think this album's more nasty, more vicious, and more chaotic than the last one. Starting off with Amputations Drong, gross technical riff work and I think that's kind of a big thing you get on this album it's like again the perfect balance between tech death more of the cerebral tech death style and brutal death metal and this opening track certainly does technical riffs at its most disgusting but of course balancing with really cool groove like basically if you combine you know suffocation Nile and Cryptopsy, and maybe even a little Deeds of Flesh, you pretty much get Defeated Sanity right here. Of course, the bass work. I will say, in terms of, like, who are some of the MVPs, I would say the bassist, I forget his name, but the drummer, Lille Gruber, these two are, like, the MVPs. Like, the rhythm section on this entire album really just makes everything sound more intricate rather than sloppy. But... Of course, what Defeated Sandy does very well, like I said, balancing technicality and chug, but also breakdowns. Like, there are some nasty breakdowns all across the board, but this breakdown on the opening track definitely kind of gets this album going in a nice direction. But of course, we get further into the album, going into the odor of sanctity. You know, Nile and Cryptopsy worship, I would say, all throughout with a lot of the blasting and the riffs and the speed. Like, I gotta say, this is some of the fastest riffing and drumming I have heard in quite some time. And of course, the vocals from Josh Welshman, absolutely gross. And the breakdown on this track, very suffocation inspired, like probably from somewhere between... Effigy of the Forgotten, Breeding the Spawn, Pierced from Within, like it kind of fits in that realm a little bit. Accelerating the Rot. I love the little pinch squeals, like the pinchy squealy bends on the riffs. And then it kind of gets a little bit grindy, like it gets a bit punky. But of course you do get some like really cool guitar moments that I think kind of brings in a little bit of Dying Fetus into the mix. Um, and of course, you know, the drums absolutely fucking frantic and then you get into temporal disintegration i actually like how this one starts you get like chugging riffs but with like wild off time drums to kind of give it a little bit of like a heavy jazz fusion feel but of course the riff arrangements again bring back more nile aspects another rather killer breakdown and also big bass drop before it gets into some wild bass flurries once again and then in the second half of the album, you get into, um, ex uh, I had this pronounced perfectly earlier, and now I can't even remember. Uh, ex extrinsic extrinsically, extrinsically enraged. There we go. Words are hard sometimes, I'm sorry. But start off with blast beats and more machine gun riffs that kind of feel closer to, like, early suffocation, like... Human Waste, Effigy of the Forgotten, like that time period. And then, of course, you know, just tons of killer groove and chug. It gets off time again to kind of bring more of the technical aspects to it. And some of these tremolo riffs, 
I think, kind of bring out more of, like, the dying fetus influence on here. A patriarchy perverse. This, I think, definitely has the most suffocation worship on here. Like, some of these riffs kind of remind me of, like, the breeding to spawn era of suffocation. Uh, Condemned to vascular famine. I gotta say, the drums that start this track off, really tasteful. Like, it's not just about, like, being... Like, oh, look at how many notes I can hit on the drums. No, he's doing it in, like, a ta uh, tasteful jazz fusion style. And then, of course, you get, like, really big chugs, but they got some really cool flair with the guitars. And it's absolutely bonkers when it comes to technicality. I would say this might be the most technical song on the entire album. There's also some, like, cool, like, triplet rhythms, grooves with tremolos on top, and a big breakdown to close it. And then the closing track, uh, Heredi, uh, Heredi, actually, yeah, Heredi Violated. I'm, I'm out of it right now, I'm sorry. Big chugs and groove to start it off, and then, of course, you get chugs over blast beats that are really fast towards the end. But the big thing that stood out to me about this track, the big tempo shifts, but they do it in, like, again, that jazz fusion way. And I gotta say, another band that's kind of a hidden influence across the board, especially with how, like, intricate it gets, particularly with the bass. Reminds me of, like, 90s-era death, and I know they did an album, Disposal of the Dead, and um, Harmada back in 2016, where it was, like, a tale of two sides, like, their traditional sound, and then paying homage to death. I feel like since then, they still incorporate a little bit of that 90s-era death into their sound, mainly with the intricate riffs and the bass work, and it still shows on here. I would say the only complaints that I really have about this album is I do wish that, like, some of the technical parts could have shined more on certain tracks as opposed to just about the chugs and the groove and occasional slams. And also, like, the drum production, particularly the snare. Like, in the opening track, Amputation Strong, kind of sounded ringy, but as the album progresses, it does get better and more tolerable sounding. I feel like if the snare sound could have been a little bit stronger, this would have really put it over the top for me. But overall, I thought this was a great album. I might like this one more than the Sanguinary um, Impetus. I'm going to give this 4 out of 5. I thought this was actually a great album. And again, Defeated Sanity showing that they are one of the most consistent, brutal slash tech death bands going today. But of course, those are just my opinions. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Keep your horns high and your dreams wet. Thank you for your patronage.